where we're at. So that bush was the one that was behind up here. I have to take that away. Trim me bush. Um, yeah, so I didn't film all this. I was getting home at about half five, you know, getting like half an hour daylight. Sorry, that sun is glaring. So this is where I'm at at the moment. I'll get out the sun. So, oh, bloody hell, go So what I've done to get that, you know, get that slope so the rain goes straight down is, um, so, so I put another four by two on here and then done small, small slats in here and then i've done um so just look from there that's gonna go that was just putting that in the middle but um all right have a word with devon coy see if i can get a nice plaque up here be good um let's just back off again so the sun sides have come out it? look what a git can you see that oh dear yeah so it's, this ain't a traditional pergola this is more like a i don't know shelter if you like because what I've what I've got here, I don't know if it's going to be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I didn't end up putting them, you know, them them um, spikes coming out the side. I just thought there's no point. Um, probably looks like a bit of an extreme slope, but I just want to make sure that water goes down, so then I can put gutter in down there. Um, so if you want to do it this way, you're going to have a gap there. It might look a bit odd to some people. I don't mind it. It's not a problem for me. Let's step back a bit. Zoomed out. Um, yeah, I don't mind it at all. I think it's, I think it's absolutely fine. I ain't screwed down. I've got to screw them down. Um, they're, they're not moving anyway, but you may as well screw them down, eh? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with that. I can't just give you a decent video of it because of the bloody sands up there. Anyway, yeah. So the poly carbs just arrived. I arrived this morning, should I say? While I was at work, and I've got the the uh, the joiner. Um, what the poly car I went for was actually only 10 mil. Uh, reason being is it's nearly Christmas and the prices for the 25 mil and that was, was ridiculous. So I'm going to whack this on, and if I don't like it or if I think I need something a bit thicker, then this thing here has got corrugated sheeting on it and it's leaking like a sieve. So and that's the same, basically the same size as the pond up there. So I'll take that off. So come that next spring, summer, I'll use the 10 mil stuff up there and I'll get something better for the pond. But um, it, it's, it's very thick. And uh, yeah, thanks to Martin's Koi Pond and Garden. Yeah, he said his 10 mil is just absolutely solid. So yeah, anyway, let's get this up. Uh, I'll probably just put it up and then uh, have a look at what it looks like and then um, start screwing it in. But, um, obviously when you're doing this, make sure your UV's you know, facing up to the sky, yeah? UV protected side. Because, so on here, it actually tells you here that it says uh, sunlight, yeah? And then uh, obviously you've got it put it on here because it can be confusing because I've got a, another blue protective sheet in this side, yeah? So you might think it's that side, but it's not. So for me, this company, it's, um, yeah, it will tell you, so don't don't panic. Um, yeah, now I've got that join on. Apparently that join's a nightmare to get on, so uh, oh, we'll see how we do. I'm sure we'll be all right. All right, I'll speak to you later. Before, before I put this roof on, this is exactly why my forever pond will be an in-ground pond. Stick your windows up your ass. Look at that for a view, eh? Throw some food down there. And mealworm. Best view in the world, that. It's like a hacker with a shimmy on it. I'm gonna actually gonna take that shimmy off. That'd be another video. Quite a big one. Right, let's get this roof on then.
Right, there you go. Jobs are good and that time lapse. I've, I, <laughs> what a nightmare. So the problem is, yeah. Um, oh, it's just sound like uh, Jumbo, come here. Good boy. Um, yeah, so this joining strip in the middle. What a nightmare. Just be, just be, uh, just be prepared for that one because it's an absolute pain in the ass. Me and the missus ended up putting vegetable oil down each little slot so, so that you could, you know, slide it down because it's just it's so taut, it was an absolute nightmare. Um, right, so there is going to be, um, I can't really explain right now, but there's going to be a centre support post in the middle. But it's going to be like a, I'm doing like an LED strip, so I'll, that's for another video, but um, it's nice and solid, ain't going nowhere. Um, but like I say, you don't need a centre support holding this bit. I'm just going, I'm not going to have a wooden barn. I've got something else lined up. So, um, yeah. Um, the cost of it is absolutely rocketed. So I remember we had 100 quid. Now it's just like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of money. That's why I didn't go with um, 300 plus quid for the um, Holly car. But, um, all I want it for, it's not winter prep, I just want it to keep the rain off because the rain keeps messing my pH up. So uh, yeah, so what I do, I'll, um, let's feed the fish actually. Still, it's got mealworms at the moment, I've got some more wheat germ on order. Oh, actually I've got something to show you. I ran out, I've already used like two kilos of wheat germ. Okay, and I've noticed that um, the Andrew Daly, and uh, more recently, KWPR is noticing the mess on the bottom. And um, I've noticed it as well. So um, what I've done, what I've done, go bother. What I've done is, um, you know, like this, top tip. Because I didn't put my returns very low down. It's sort of halfway down there in the pond. I've got, I've got two returns, one I'm not using, one's like down here and then Obviously, making a, a vortex, yeah. A little trick for you. Come round. I don't want to get bogged down. It's all my. Need to wood chip this again. Just stuck this in the return for the day. So obviously, it's pumping the water to the bottom of the pond. And then it was, it was just all the crap was just going straight down the bottom drain. So obviously, my returns down there. So I can't do it on camera, but put, put my hand in down here. Turn the pump off, plug that in, and that's just ripping up the bottom, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Obviously, you can, you can put a uh, pressure pipe on there. Uh, I just saw that at the time, so. But it didn't fall out when the pump was going. Just turn your pump down as uh, low as it can go. Um, but, yeah, anyway, yeah. So, um, what I do, I'll just um, tell you how much it costs. And then, uh, yeah. Pretty pleased. Chippy would do it better, no doubt, but you know, I'm not, I'm just a DIY enthusiast, but um, yeah, I'm pleased with that, well pleased. Right, uh, so final thoughts on the, um, you know, maybe what I could have done, uh, what it cost. So uh, maybe I should have went a bit bigger with a poly car, because I went um, 2,500 by 1,250, so it was basically um, 2,500 squared. Um, but the reason why I've done that is because the, the seating area, um, pergola is around the same size I thought as a backup plan if it didn't like the 10 mil it would fit perfectly on there with with some overhang so um yeah I could look at it now I mean I'm pleased with it I am um yeah we'll see I might change it I don't know but um the prices for polycarbonate right now it's just god it's just yeah biblical um, just a quick answer to people keep asking about the battery life of the Inkbird um, temperature floating thermometer. Um, so it's been a month. Uh, I've not changed the batteries, and you've got need to bear in mind these were Kodak Poundland batteries. All I had in the house, I, I, you know, buy crap you buy twice. Um, but if you can see that, so. The, the floating thermometer has lost one of three battery power and the actual unit is still going strong with three battery power. So for a month, yeah, no problems there at all. You had Duracells in there, that'd be free. You know, if you've got changes every three, four months, 
two batteries, you know, whatever. You know, it's not too bad at all, is it? Um, yeah, so, I mean, there is some things I need to do. I need to put the edge in, I need to get some edge in for, you know, polycarb and that. But, um, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, um, like I said, the initial um, part one was £100, which I will stick by because you could have done it easy, that was without the roofing. Maybe if you got some corrugated, it would have been like 50 quid or something, so 150 quid all in. But mine, um, my, my mine booms <laughs> pretty quickly. Once I've got them three metre four by twos and that, yeah. Um, yeah, everything changed, and and with a polycarb, polycarbonate. So, um, so I paid. That's what I paid for the polycarbonate. One hundred and twenty pounds delivered, uh, with delivery fee. I mean, and then um, I think I paid about seventy five quid for seven for three meter four by twos. It ain't that bad, but uh, I only use six. But I'm going to use seven because I might use that for the middle beam support. But I've got an idea in my head for lighting. Um, that's another video. Um, but that's 75 quid. I just want to say uh, thanks to everyone because um, I've had my first YouTube payment. Uh, it's taken five months, but in five months I've earned 75 quid. And it's, uh, you know, there is other channels out there with the same sort of subscription numbers as me, but they're they're. You know, the videos do better. I, I don't know why. I don't, I don't really care because I'm well pleased. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, good luck to them. Well done, you know. Nothing but, um, you know, just happy for them, you know. Um, but, yeah, so I'll put it up now. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I mean, if, well, if you didn't pay for the wood, it pay for the last giveaway with a um, auto feeder. So, you know, it's, it helps. You know, it's great, isn't it? You know, um, you know, it's community and talking about community, have not noticed the chill? You know, people even people that don't usually put videos out or certain videos out, putting out bangers. Um yeah, I think the I think YouTube at the moment is absolutely banger. I'm starting to watch it again more. If I don't comment on your videos, I am watching you. As long as you're like that. You know what I mean? Um I am watching you. I just if I've got an opinion on something, but then I notice that someone's already said it, I just don't comment. But I'm watching you, and I like your videos. And to my other core troopers, I always watch all the adverts as well. Um, I never skip them because I, I know, you know, if you want to get a bit so expensive, you want to get a bit of money back, you know, for your giveaways and that, and that, that's fair enough. Anyway, I'm waffling. So um, yeah, um, basic pergola style. I'm not going to call it pergola, but um, yeah please and I'll um yeah I'll uh, see you on the next one